everyone, so I have a collective haul for you today. So I apologise for the lack of videos, people have been asking me when the next video is going to be and the truth is I've just had no motivation at all because the snowball is very poorly at the moment and I feel that I should spend more time with him rather than making videos and things so that's the reason why there hasn't been many videos recently so I do apologise about that but the pets do come first of course. So I went shopping over the past couple of days and just picked up a few different things and went shopping with a couple of friends and things like that so I just decided to collect everything up and do one big haul video for you guys so yeah let's go ahead and get started. So the first two things I picked up were for my dogs and it's just another dog toy for them so I decided to go ahead and get them two um, jumbo vinyl squeaky burgers so they've had these before and they completely chewed them to pieces and there wasn't a very big selection of dog squeaky toys so I thought I'd just go ahead and pick them up another one of these because they did seem to really like chewing it up so these were from the pound store i can't remember if it was pound land or pound world but either way these were only 99p each so the next two things i picked up were again for the small animals and it is just two bags of the nest nest bedding from jollies so i've been struggling to find a decent brand of bedding recently because obviously wilkinson's have stopped selling their um j cloth bedding and b m's have only started selling that fluffy horrible stuff they've stopped selling like the um, paper flakes which is a real shame so it is becoming a lot harder to get bedding which is actually um, suitable for small animals so I am now having to use this stuff it's not what I would really like to use because it is quite small and it gets everywhere but it does for now and it is paper and it's all safe for them and it does actually have little pieces of J cloth in there as well so it does make it a little bit softer compared to that um, recycled shredded paper stuff which you can get from like pets at home and wilkinson's i'm not really too keen on that so i just went ahead and picked up two bags of these and these were 99p each so the next thing i picked up is actually for when i go on holiday so my parents are taking care of the pets for me for a week whilst i go and see some friends and for that reason i'm going to try and make things as easy as possible for them so i just went ahead and bought a set of four bowls because i do have quite a few bowls at the moment but when I go away I'm actually going to prepare the pets food before I go and then put cling film over the top of their bowls and then put their names on them just so that all my parents have to do is to take the cling film off and put it in the um, pet cage just so that it's not too much for them to do because obviously looking after 10 small animals isn't easy as it is and they do have the cats and dogs to look after as well so I want to try and make things as easy as possible for them because I was going to put the pets into boarding and I think it's about £2 a day at a local pet store and um, my parents said well to save you money we'll look after them and you just tell us what we need to do really so for that reason I'm just going to try and make things as easy as possible for them because I have a feeling they probably end up feeding the gerbil the mice food and the mouse the gerbil food and I think they'll just get really confused because all the pets are on different foods and they get different treats all the time so just to make things a little bit easier for them I just went ahead and bought these they're not exactly the best quality but they'll do for um, temporary just for a couple of days so you get four in here they're all different colours and you might have seen these before in my video because I have bought some of these in the past when I had Ziggy and Elmo. So they're just little plastic balls and they have little paw prints on them and you get one red, one blue, one green and one yellow. So these were from a um, local pound store and these were only a pound which I actually thought was pretty cheap considering I have seen these pretty expensive on the internet. So the next thing I picked up is something which I have tried once before in the past and that was when I got a free sample with my hamster heaven and I've been trying to find a new litter for the gerbils and for Remy because they absolutely stink and the gerbils are peeing in their sand bath all the time and it's just really unhygienic and I'm having to clean it at least twice a day and they just smell so bad so for that reason I am trying to find a different litter for them so I thought I'd go ahead and try this. So it is the Super Pet Critter Litter, I have tried it before and it was really good, it worked really well with Cookie Monster and when they poo or peep or poo or peep poo or pee in the litter it actually clumps together meaning that it is super easy to clean as well compared to sand which sticks to everything so I thought I'd go ahead and give this a try it's the 1.8 kilogram bag and it was a little bit pricey at five pounds but if it works I really don't mind spending five pounds every 
month or so because I am probably only going to use this for the gerbils and for Remy because the hamsters they don't really smell and um, their litter trays don't really get as dirty as quickly so for that reason I don't really mind spending a little bit extra as long as it works and it controls the odour really well so this is just what it looks like and if we take a look on the back it says made from clay formed from volcanic ash Reduces overall cage cleaning, made from non-toxic or natural materials, 99% dust free, absorbs 10 times its weight in water. So if it absorbs 10 times its weight in water that'll be brilliant because of gerbils tend to pee quite a lot. Well mine tend to pee quite a lot, I'm not really too sure if other gerbils do but I know that mine drink a hell of a lot and they pee so much as well. So um hopefully this will work on them and I do have really high hopes for this because it did work really well for Cookie Monster as well so this was from the range and like I said it was five pounds a bag so the next thing I got was from the range and it is for Little Mouse so Remy has a colourful cage theme going on at the moment he's just got his new extension kit and the iMac Fantasy is obviously a very colourful cage in itself so for that reason I am trying to keep the colourful theme going so I have seen these a ton of times in the range and I've always wanted to buy one but I thought that it was a little bit expensive considering I can get them for about a pound but I thought I'd go ahead and just buy it for him seeing as I had a bit of extra cash and my friend also persuaded me because she thought it was cute so this is just the colourful bendy bridge and this was actually I think it was three or four pounds whereas I know you can get the plain ones for about 99p but Remy really does love hiding and for that reason I thought it would be a good investment so hopefully he won't pee on it as well because he pees over absolutely everything which is a real nightmare because of cleaning wood toys is not easy when you have a pet mouse so yeah that is just that and you can obviously bend it into a ton of different shapes so I'm probably just going to leave it like that just so that he can hide under there so this is just the small size so the next thing I picked up is something which again I have been wanting for a little while but I was hoping they'd have two in stock but they did unfortunately only have one so I could only get the one but it is just the Rosewood Board and Breaker Activity Suspension Bridge so that is what it looks like and I'm hoping to give this to either Bear or Humbug I did also want a couple of other things as well like the um wooden platforms but they only had two of them and half of them had the legs missing from them so I couldn't even buy them because I am trying to get the um, Syrian some more toys because they don't really have that many compared to the dwarfies but I thought I'd just go ahead and buy one of these because of it was actually quite cheap and it was only five pounds I think so for a um, suspension bridge like this I was expecting to pay a little bit more so when I got to the till and found out it was only five pounds I was pretty chuffed with that so it just hangs from the top of the cage with these metal hooks and there's just a couple of toys in the middle as well so the hamsters can climb on it they can chew it they can pretty much do whatever they want so I am hoping to go back and get another one at some point so this was just from the range so the next thing I picked up isn't really anything too exciting but it is for Remy's cage so Remy obviously got a new extension kit the other day and he did need a new ladder to get up to his level because of at the moment I've got tubes in there and I really do not like Remy having tubes because he pees in them and they absolutely stink so I just went ahead and bought another ladder so it is just the happy pet bird ladder and I believe this is the medium one so I think it's got about nine steps on there so this is a perfect size for the iMac Fantasy because it fits in there really well and it's not too steep either whereas I have seen some ladders which are really steep in the iMac and I don't like the pets having really steep ladders and things even though I know Remy is a really good climber and half the time he doesn't even use his ladders he just uses the bars I do like him to have a ladder which isn't too steep and he can climb up that pretty easily as well so this was super cheap and it was only £1.49 from the range so the last place me and my friend went was Pets at Home. Now I don't usually like shopping in Pets at Home but where I used to live before I moved here um, there is no pet shops there whatsoever. There's a couple of little ones dotted around but they're not really that good and they don't really hold um, that many small animal products. So basically when I go there I have no choice but to go into Pets at Home because my friend always goes in there because it's pretty much the only place she could get her supplies from so I did pick up a few things whilst I was there because of they have some stuff in that Pets at Home which we don't stock in my local Pets at Home so I did take the plunge and buy a couple of things even though I'm sitting here regretting it but I know that the pets will like the toys but 
yeah, I just don't like shopping in pets at home that much. So anyways, enough of me babbling about that. I just went ahead and picked up the football strip garland. So I've been eyeing this up um, before I moved house actually. And I did want to get one, but I never did because I thought they were a little bit pricey. But um, this is going to be for the gerbils. And because they're boys, I thought I'd get the football one. So it just has footballs and then it has um, red and blue circle wooden pieces in the middle and obviously it's on a chain so they can't chew it up whereas with the pets at home christmas garlands they're on strings so i won't even bother buying them because i know the pets will just chew it within seconds so it has these little clips and you just unscrew it and attach it to the bars so this was actually not that expensive and i think it was only about four pounds and these do last the gerbils quite a long time as well so i thought this was a good investment for the boys so the next thing I picked up was just two packets of the Pets at Home Wood Chews. So these are obviously the Christmas ones and I'm going to try and make the pets cages a little bit more festive this year. So I did just go ahead and buy two packs, although I do need to go get another one because I do have 10 small animals and 9 cages. So I'll probably go and get another one or get a similar one from Jolly's if I can. So you just get three in here, so you get a Santa, a Christmas tree and a gingerbread man and these were only £2 each. So the next thing I picked up is going to be for the gerbils to go in their um, December cage tour and it is just the Santa house I believe from um, Pets at Home. So what you do is you basically pop this middle out and it becomes a little house or a little tunnel for them and because this is all corrugated um, cardboard it will be brilliant for the boys because they will love to chew this. So I might go and get a couple more for the um, Syrians, I'm not too sure yet but um, I don't even think my Pets at Home have their Christmas range out yet I'm not too sure because I don't really go in there but I thought whilst it was there I'd go ahead and buy one of these and again this was only two pounds so the last thing I picked up again is probably going to be for the gerbils and it's going to go in the December cage tour and it is just this really cute um, Christmas tree wooden chew toy and I thought this would be brilliant for the boys because obviously they do love to chew and it is something a little bit different for them although I know it won't really last that long um but I thought it would just be a little nice decoration to go in their cage for Christmas so this was again only two pounds which I thought was actually really good because pets at homes um toys are usually really expensive so i just went ahead and bought that and again i might buy a couple more for humbug and bear as well so here is just a quick overview of everything which i bought the pets it's not as much as what i usually buy them just because of i'm trying to cut down on the amount of money i spend on them and because of it's just getting to the point now where the pets have too much stuff and i just really need to cut down and start selling some of it because there's just way too much and I'm not going to be having 10 small animals anytime again in the future so once I sort of lose the ones which I have I'm probably only going to end up with about two and I'm going to get a detolf and just split it in half because um, having 10 is really really hard and obviously going to work and everything else as well it's just not ideal so for that reason I am just going to kind of cut down and not buy as much so there probably won't be as many hauls on my channel but I will still try and do other videos and things as well for you guys just so that it's um, not as boring for you because I know at the minute I don't really upload that much so yeah anyways as always thank you so much for the support guys and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye